Hello class, meet Mr. Fish, a famous businessman. He's worried because he encountered a huge loss according to his annual balance sheet. On attempt to find out why he had such a huge loss, he hired Remy, a business coach. After much analysis, Remy advised Mr. Fish to lay off his employees above 55 years of age to increase efficiency at work. Retire them all. All of them, Mr. Fish instructed Remy. But Remy has one problem. He doesn't know how to put up a Microsoft Excel formula to determine employees' age given their date of birth. In this tutorial, we want to help solve Remy's problem by providing him with a working Microsoft Excel formula to determine the employee's age and thus retire any employee with age above 55. I am using Microsoft Excel 2016 and you can see Mr. Fish employee list here. In the fifth column of the table, I have the employee date of birth. On cell G5, right here, I will start my calculation. But before I begin, I want you to understand one concept, which is this. Microsoft Excel stores date at serial number starting from 1st January 1900. That is to say, serial number 1 stands for 1st January 1900, serial number 2 for 2nd January 1900, serial number 3 for 3rd January 1900 in that order. So each of the dates here on this list have its serial number equivalent. For example, if I click on the first one here and I move to this number format and I choose general, you can see it has 30046. So this is the serial number of this date. So I'll take it back to the normal date format. Okay, I think it's short date here. All right. So another thing is this. I will use the today function to grab today's date. If I type quality sign, I'll type today. So the today function is an inbuilt Microsoft Excel function to grab the current date. To calculate the age, I'll go ahead and delete this. To calculate the age, I'm going to write this formula. First of all, equality sign, I open and close my parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, I will reference my today function, just as we indicated. Today, it takes no argument. Then, I'm going to subtract from the date. So, I, I press my minus sign, then I pick this date at F5. If I go ahead and hit enter, you can see that um, we have a different date formatted as a date. So if I go ahead and format it as general, then you can see the serial number equivalent of the arithmetic between the date of today and the date of birth for Sir Mary. It doesn't end here. I'll go ahead and divide this value, this result, by 365.25 and I'll hit enter. It gives me this format again. I'll go ahead and format it so you see the value I have. So I have 37.392, you know, a decimal number. All right, so what happened is this we divided by 365.25 because for every four years we have three normal years and one leap year. And three normal years have 365 days each, while the leap year has 366 days. So taking the average, that is 365 for the first year, plus 365 for the second year, plus 365 for the third year, then plus 366 for the leap year, divide it all through by four, you will get 365.25. So we divide it with this value here to incorporate the leap year. Okay, so we have this value here. Keep formatting this. Permit me, I'll go back and make it general. 
all right so this person is 37 point something years but i don't need these decimal numbers here so i'll go ahead and employ and the services of another um function we call it round down it's called round down function is a mathematical function so this function will act on everything we have here so it takes one argument which is the number which is the value we have already and the decimal place of course i don't want any decimal place i choose zero and i click enter and i click enter so i have 37 years so this round up function acts on whatever we have here then take it to zero decimal place that is why we have 37 here okay if i go ahead and draw across you can see the age of um, the employees okay i have 74 years here i have even 84 years as an employee all right so now in this next column we want to determine who is going and who is stay but remember the advice of remy is that mr fish should retire any employee more than 55 years of age so we can use a simple if function to say um if um equality sign if open and close our parenthesis what do we want uh, we want um, the age if it's greater than or equal to 55 let's just say yes this person will go then else no the person will stay okay so if we hit enter you can see that this guy is 37 years of age so no he's gonna stay so if you draw across um, you can see those that are going yes you're going to retire this 68 74 58 84 56 so anybody more than 55 years of age will retire okay with this now mr fish is happy remy is also happy because we've succeeded in solving mr fish problem thank you so much for joining us in today's class Please do comment on the video, like and share to your friends on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon that appears after you subscribed. Clicking on this icon will enable you to get notification whenever we release a new video. See you in the next class and bye for now.